Hello, I'm Bruce here, and today in Homemade Science, I want to take a look at an old toy and see if we can update it and make it a little bit more personal. The Lever toys have always been a favorite of students in our investigation of simple machines. Now these guys have served me well, but this was made in 1992. So I thought it was time to update these figures. Now this guy worked fine, but I thought it might be more fun to use a cartoon or an animated figure like maybe Homer Simpson. Now instead of an animated figure, perhaps we're going to try a historical figure. For example, here's Abe Lincoln. Now I've also made Abe on a larger scale. The big advantage to going larger is that the gymnast moves slower so that you can see its acrobatics just a little bit better. Now the third possibility, and actually my favorite, try making one of somebody you know, or better yet, make one of yourself. While this can be a fun toy, I've also used these as part of a science lesson. In our study of simple machines, students can make measurements and determine the mechanical advantage for it. We have two first class levers attached to the same bar that's the fulcrum. In this case, the effort arms are actually shorter than the resistance arms. Pushing in on the effort arms causes the resistance arms to be pushed outwards. As the body hangs down, the strings are twisted. And when a force is applied by the levers, this causes the strings to untwist. The untwisting of the string causes a torque on the arms, which causes the body to rotate around the strings. As it rotates to the other side, the string retwists. And squeezing the handle once again causes the same behavior, but in the opposite direction. I hope you enjoyed this video. In part two, I'll go into the building of these things from the smallest piece up to the largest one. It's simply a matter of scaling it up. Anyway, everyone, thank you for watching and come back and see me again. Okay, bye.